that video that we just put out today about the zoom light, that was really hard. <laughs> this is awful. It's like giving me a migraine. It's easy to do the zoom light that we figured it out, but figuring out how to make the warm diffuse light took both of us days. Here is yellow and orange paper. That's probably gonna make me too yellowy. Hmm. We spent a lot of time on that. This is still too bright. There's all these experiments. We've used magnet tile plastic, shirts, different kind of construction paper. Really, there's some good lights out there for like under $100. It would have saved me all that time. So you might ask, Is your time worth more than a hundred dollars? You raise a great point. Yes, my time is worth more than the seventy-five dollars I saved on on the the price of these cheap lights versus I could have gotten a really good light. But but there's more. The point of doing these projects, there's probably like three points. If I could think of three points, three reasons. A. We get to do science. That. We get to do science. Yeah, we get to learn a little bit about something. So there's some something more important here going on than just solving the light problem and saving some money. Two. Points. Let's learn. It helps me learn a little bit more about video quality and lighting and certain things a little bit deeper than just solving a problem with some cash. And D. I think a lot of us default to oh. I need a solution, I'm gonna just go to wire cutter. What's the best thing I can spend money on? Where, Amazon search, boom, boom, boom. How can I spend some money and solve my problem? Which isn't exactly a bad thing, but it isn't practice at being resourceful. Make a model of it and then try to put that on your computer. Yeah, kinda. Well, so work with me, I do a lot of software and it's tempting sometimes to think like, oh, we can't do that. We need more people. It's gonna take a lot more time than we have. Whereas like if I've got practice being resourceful, I can look at a problem at work and think, okay, how can I solve this with tools that are easy to find? Whether it's open source software, or it's things that we've already built, or it's a simpler version of something that we have cooked up in our heads. So I think I'm, I've gotten I get good at thinking about simpler solutions because I practice doing things like this. Thanks for watching our videos. Subscribe to our videos for to get more of them. Or don't subscribe and watch all the other videos that you haven't watched. And then subscribe. There you go. Do it that way. <laughs>